to configure trunk port number 4 mode trunk okay, and then we configure VTP client mode client yeah okay so already I'm um, show VLAN okay so we got the VLAN from the uh, access suite number one I'm go to the access suite number two okay host name access suite number two no IP domain log up okay VTP okay I, I, I configure trunk on the interface for Ethernet 24 mode access with port mode trunk switch port trunk encapsulation switch port trunk okay done yep done. okay uh, VTP mode client yeah okay for this one we show we learn again okay so uh, for the suite number one um i'm assign the port uh, interface port they connect from the pcs to the vlan it port for ethernet number one and number two Rank. Support mode. Access support. Access VLAN 10. Okay. Show VLAN. Okay. That you see the for the this one interface that assigned to VLAN 10 for both of uh, uh, PC. And then I'm show this one. Show VLAN. Okay. We got we got it for the uh, VLAN from the call suite. So we need to assign the that interface to the VLAN twenty. Okay, that's good. Okay, so you see. Okay, we learn uh, on this feed we have only we learn 20 for the port uh, for isnet number one number two assigned to that PC already okay that's fine and this one we have the VLAN already we have assigned the interface port connect from the PC to the VLAN already and then uh, on the call suite Okay, when we assign already for the the, the, the IP address, I'm, I'm click directly on the call suite. Yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, you can try ping from this PC to the DPC, it's work or not. From the VLAN 10 to the VLAN 20, um, ping common. Okay, let 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 show you what's error or it the reply or unreachable. I ping to the gateway first. Uh, okay, for the VLAN ten, we can ping to that gateway. On the gateway, on gateway is working. I ping to the the the. the one and two dot one six eight dot one dot ten dot two five four okay it's working you see so we see if we can ping to the gateway okay i ping to the uh, that's pc is working or not
Okay, that's PC already assigned IP uh, 10, okay, 100. Okay, is it not working? Yeah, request time. I, I go to one more IP, that's one. Okay, pre waiting. So the from the VLAN 10 we we can ping reach ball to the the gateway the board of the gateway but when we ping across to each of VLAN on the PC it's not working because you uh, forgot tie the common don't forget tie the common IP routing on the cost with IP routing okay okay the, this common we uh, to do require configuration on the crossfit for the routing between the VLAN to the VLAN okay let me uh, ping again when we try the common IP routing and we try to ping again okay so you see the result this is result working when we try the common one more and then let's go on okay wait working also okay and then i'm go to the vlan hr and ping to the vlan 10 okay so it's working okay it's working okay so the for the vlan IT number 10 can reach ball to the VLAN number 2 or uh, 20 okay and then we start the configuration for the start route on the ASR okay okay for the this one we have to assign the IP address for the interface for internet 01 that's IP and for the that that SP on the Cisco ASR. Okay, I'm click on the call suite. I'm go to that is in the first. Okay. Okay, before you assign IP on the call suite, you hide, you need to tie the command dog suite port. Okay, that's common. You require you to. Uh, to assign the IP address if you don't tie this one you cannot assign IP address directly to the call suite no shot okay done show run okay port number one Okay, you see port number one. Okay, done. Assign IP address. So we go to the Cisco ASI. Show run first. Okay, the, the first one, uh, when you want to assign IP address on the Cisco ASI, you have to check by default for the VLAN, okay? Uh, as I mentioned before, we cannot assign directly on the interface Ethernet 0 slash 0. You have to assign on the interface VLAN. For by default interface VLAN or uh, default by interface VLAN is the assign IP address for that so on. So you require our requirement for different rank or different IP. You have to remove this one and you have to remove the DHCP also. If you don't remove the DHCP, you cannot assign IP address on the interface VLAN. Let me show you. Let me show you interface VLAN one. I try to assign the IP by our requirement. Okay, you see? In the first address is not the same subnet as the ACP pool because by default the uh, the the Cisco SR and the body ACP, so we have to remove it. 
show run so we have to remove this LAN and to LAN okay copy and okay and okay the first LAN first okay one more okay this one also Okay, so the in the five VLAN one IP address. Okay, you can assign. Okay, and then you have to assign the. Okay, let me show you first. Okay, for the IP address, you already configuration. This one you have to configuration for the names. If inside and security by default it come up with the interface uh, number one already but you don't forget for this one let me mention on the notepad okay yep mm -hmm. okay and then you have to assign this port okay you see this port on the VLAN number two Okay, so we configuration on the VLAN number four. So you have to assign the port to the VLAN number one. You have to that port port mode access VLAN number one. Show VLAN. Show VLAN. Show run. Okay, good. You see, this port into the VLAN number one. After we remove and assign, so VLAN view VLAN destination assign to like okay. Okay, and then uh, we try to ping from the uh, this VLAN this IP from this uh, Cisco SR to the switch. It's working or not? Okay, you see for the IP address is working okay and then I'm ping from the cost with to Cisco SI okay it's working also okay for the from the cost with to the Cisco SI in the first we can know each other or we can reach ball from the Cosfit to the Cisco SR, but from the client or from the VLAN, it's not working, right? Because we not yet to do a routing into outside VLAN. Let me try to ping to show you what is working or not. I ping to the Cosfit first. Okay, for the cost width is working on this point, but for this point maybe it's not working. Yeah. Hmm? Okay. This one is the gateway at the Cisco SI. Okay, you see it's not working. So you have to do configuration start it out. Okay, we go to Cisco ASR configuration route inside. Okay, our VLAN ID. Okay, let your address. Okay. Okay, one more for the VLAN HR. Okay, show route. 
Okay, for this one, it's a start the route that we to do at in the moment. Okay, and try to ping again. It's working or not? Okay, you see, after we to do routing, we can ping reach out to the Cisco SI. Yep, yeah, that's good. Okay, from the VLAN 10, from the another PC, we can try to ping also. Okay, it's working. Okay, from the VLAN 10, it's working and go, um, go to the VLAN 20 for the HR, it's working or not. Okay, it is sent. Okay, one more PC. Okay, it's working. Okay, uh, for our lab is success configuration based on our requirement and configuration free device line for the success what that we need okay for in this video i think it's the done so if you don't have understand about what i configuration or some of the uh, common or you require the file and then you can request us by the the the, the our channel and don't forget subscribe our my channel like the Cisco my learning Cisco Drango so I will upload this video into the, uh, the Cisco Drango so you can watch in this video if you want require the file I will transfer to you okay thank you for watching my video today bye bye close it close it yep